students welcome to shorobsas classes so in today's video we'll be talking about international economics so we'll be talking about a concept called differences between export bias and import bias so in today's video we'll be talking about the differences in export bias So differences in export biased and import biased growth. So we'll be talking about the differences in export biased and import biased growth. So we know growth which disproportionately expand a country's production possibility in the direction of the good which exports is export biased growth so we know growth which disproportionately so we know growth which disproportionately proportionately expands a country's production possibilities Countries production possibilities in the direction of good in the direction of the good in the direction of the good a country in the direction of the good which it exports which it exports is exposed biased growth so we know it has export biased growth so we know it has export biased growth and also we know so similarly the growth bias towards a good and the growth towards the good a country imports is import biased growth is known as import biased growth so in general the export bias growth tends to worsen a growing country's terms of trade we know usually the export bias growth does what an export bias growth tends to worsen a growing country's terms of trade growing countries terms of trade and on the other hand an import bias growth on the other hand an imposed bias growth on the other hand an import biased growth tends to benefit tends to benefit the growing countries terms of trade at the rest of the world expense benefit the growing countries terms of trade
so we know the while the export bias growth tends to deterioration of terms of trade the export bias growth our key point that we need to remember is that exposed export bias growth tends to do what it tends to deteriorate the terms of trade on the other hand an import bias growth does the opposite an import bias growth leads to terms of trade improvement now we'll do what we'll do to diagram to show the import so here we'll draw two diagrams so on the left hand panel on the left hand panel we'll draw rd line and here we'll draw rs line so here we'll draw rs1 and rs2 and this is 1 and this is 2 so this is what this is the pc by pf2 and this is pc by pf1 and this is rd this is rs1 and this is rs2 now this is basically what this is nothing but relative price of cloth this is relative price of cloth which is also given by pc by pf this is relative price of cloth and this is relative quantity of cloth and this is relative quantity of cloth which is given as qc plus qc star divided by this so similarly this is basically what this is basically the cloth bias growth this is known as cloth bias growth as you can see the the there is increase in the relative quantity of cloth from here to here and price has also decreased so this is what this is a cloth bias growth and on the other hand and food bias growth will look like for a food bias growth it will be relative demand curve like this there is relative supply curve 2 there is relative supply curve 1 see pc by pf to the power 1 this is pc by pf2 so this is 1 and this is 2 so the ra shift to here on the horizontal axis we will write qc plus qc star divided by qf plus qf star and on the vertical axis we will write p 
PC by PF and on the vertical axis we will write PC by PF. So here what happens that is in case of export bias growth what happens export bias growth basically deteriorates the terms of trade. Now for an example in case of America which is a which is which uses cloth which uses cloth production more abundantly in them what will happen this will lead to more production of cloth so i hope you guys have understood it if you still have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on the number that i am giving it is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www showedofsearchclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead